Hello, 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 everybody. This is your faithful friend, Sandra Grubber. Well, I'm not going to continue singing because uh, I have a little coughing today. And maybe my guests will be coughing too. So we're going to have a coughing, coughing competition while <laughs> we are actually talking to each other. Because before we actually went live, you know, we started the recording. Um, we were actually having a competition to see who coughed better than who, right? Um, but no, no, no. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Welcome to MB Vivo Life. Um, today we are going to be talking about managing change and transformation. And I have interviewed this amazing woman already. And I am going to be interviewing her again and again and again. And again, and again, because I love who she is, what she stands for. I love her ideas. And that's the reason why I want to share it with you. I am Sandra Graves. And if you would like to interview with me, share, you know, what you know, then contact us at info at invivoassociate.com. Yes, I have a cough drop in my mouth. That's why you can see my cheek moving. Okay. But contact me at info at invivoassociate.com. And also, if you have any comments, please just make the comments. And if you like what you hear, please visit Coach Monica at www.coachmonica with an S at the end, dot I-N for India. Um, again, that is www.coachmonica, and Monica is with a K, um, S at the end, dot I-N for India. Anyway, we are going to begin 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 <laughs> i'm so excited Woo! and i just can't hide it we're gonna start this conversation and i can't wait to find out what is this about managing change and transformation but before you say that let us know um what is it that you do and then we can start the conversation yeah hello everybody once again and uh, thank you sandra for inviting me once again on your wonderful show it's really lovely to come here uh, each time you invite me with so good vibration and i'm so happy every time to meet you yes we will have a coughing competition in a short while definitely <laughs> <laughs> so uh, to all the viewers who are watching me good morning good evening or good afternoon at whatever time you are watching me and i'm coach monica from new delhi india I uh, do uh, coaching, I do mentoring, I do consulting and I do training people on uh, creating their success mindset and helping them evolve to a next uh, step of their life and ladder to the next level of success. That's what I do. I'm a certified trainer from Jack Canfield, who's the author of Chicken Soup series and I'm also a certified NLP practitioner. So helping you more towards your, you know, uh, uh, creating your abundant and success mindset. That's what I do, Sandra. And thank you once again for inviting me on this wonderful show. Well, thank you for accepting to be here on my show and for sharing your successful mindset with us. Ooh, I like that success mindset. I love that. So in this topic of managing change and transformation, um, before we actually go through the process of all this, what does that really mean? Okay, uh, change is basically a voluntary uh, alteration in your nature, in your systems, in your day-to-day -day, uh, working, wherever you are doing, whatever you are in, whatever area of life you are having. It's a consistent and... Uh, voluntary change or voluntary bringing altering something in your life that is change and when it over happens over the period of time persistent that you have a totally different mindset and a totally new perspective new paradigms you have involved which cannot be now you know a reverse it is leading to transformation it's a totally new maybe uh, it's around three years four years down the line if i see sandra sandra is a totally new evolved person with a new set of beliefs new set of values a totally new person so that's how if i say uh, change has you know transformed sandra in a much better way okay. that's life all about so it's really about um changing so do we change everything or do we change because if i love who i am what is there a need for me to change very good question there, Sandra. Uh, first, we need to understand, is change for 
for everybody is there is a desire or you know there is a willingness for everybody to change uh, the answer is no because uh, each and every person cannot feel the same each and every person will not have the same belief system as we are change will happen to only those people who right now in their life at are at this point of life where they feel now so this is not working for me earlier it used to work for me now the same things are not working for me that is the point where you are actually looking forward for a change in your life that is uh, where you have had enough internal conversations with you i have had enough i have had enough from the life those earlier belief systems are not working for you right now every time you are hitting against the wall but you don't know why so that is a certain gauge certain parameter you need to understand the change is coming towards you you have to have certain changes is in your life that is the only parameter when i tell people you know why should i change do i need a change that is the only parameter when you are fed up with your own belief system when you are enough you have said enough is enough for me now is the time you know you some mentor or some coach will come into your life and obviously will bring a positive change okay thank you for that explanation so in other words somebody that is saying I have accomplished so much in my life but now I don't know what to do the same things that I used to do is not working for me anymore and that's exactly where you come in because exactly. whatever they were using before might not be working now because they are supposed to be entering in a new path of form a new area in their life and they are using the same old tools in order to get to where they want to go and that's not working is that correct exactly you are exactly at the point uh, see everybody travels to a different levels of life fall together okay now one level will require a totally different set of uh, skill sets and when you reach or when you desire to go on to the next level the next level of your life will require a totally different you so for that you need to prepare yourself for the change it's not just overnight i get a promotion i go on to the new job uh, at a higher designation uh, the promotion my my title changes my, my mindset remains uh, same i will be fail i'll be dead at the job so before you know adopting that change within yourself you need to have uh, you need to prepare yourself for that change am i ready for those things which are about to happen to my life when i change the external things so for that you need to prepare yourself uh, internally your mindset specifically because as i told each level will require a totally different uh, person of you of yourself so if if we are talking about change and i feel okay i have done all of this but i want to do so much and i haven't been able to do that much how do i know what i need to change so that's a very again uh, beautiful question see wherever we have all have different areas of our life right now uh, we have relationship we have career we have finances we have health we have our internal uh, you know our being now in which area you are actually not satisfied right now maybe uh, if i if i ask you to you know give points from 1 to 10 which area of your life scores the least if i say it's the health right now it's on the 3 and rest are maybe above 6 or 7 so that's the perfect gauge that health right now requires your attention and desires that change and change will happen when you start changing whatever you are doing that things daily maybe in your diet maybe your lifestyle maybe the way you think maybe you see your food maybe the maybe whatever so everything will start uh, after you recognize or be aware on which area of life desire that particular change you cannot bring change entirely in all the areas all together no you you again will be falling because you cannot focus all the areas all together so best is to focus one area at a time bring in that change slowly gradually suddenly but consistent baby steps you know to move forward uh, in that particular area yes Woo! sandra i love it i love it and i totally agree with that because you know Hello? one thing that people 
are used to doing is that any time that we want to accomplish things, we believe, oh, I want to do this, and I want to do this, and I want to do this, and I want to do that. And we try to do everything at once and change all at once. And then it doesn't work. So we give up. We get frustrated. We get depressed. We say, oh, we know good. We don't have skills. And just like what you said, it's really tackling that individual belief. Woo! It's, it's tackling that individual belief mm -hmm. because we want to do everything at once. And instead of that, that's why we don't change anything because we are tackling everything at once. And the reason why I'm repeating myself is because we just got disconnected and you are back. So I'm trying mm -hmm. to make sure that you know what I'm talking about. Am I? Okay. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, to the point. Exactly. So it was really about just that um, is the whole point about um, change is understanding or taking the time to find out what is it matters to you, like right, right, right. So uh, start taking baby steps, identifying and start taking baby steps towards that change. Maybe uh, if it's you know uh, taking a healthier food towards healthier food, then maybe start uh, changing it from one meal, not uh, the entire day. Maybe start taking baby steps so that uh, everything doesn't rush on to you, and uh, slowly and gradually you move towards a healthier lifestyle. Uh, keep a goal, maybe you know 60 days, 70 days. I have to change this habit. So always when you keep a larger duration of time, you will have ample time, you know, to go, come, uh, take one step forward and maybe, you know, come one step backward, it will happen. Change are never, changes are never linear. Some days will be very good. Some days you will be down. Some days will be very low in energy. So you might not be uh, doing that much efforts, but still taking a step, two step forward and coming one step backward, it's okay. It's okay. Please don't, you know, uh, take that thing uh, very seriously. Keep on, keep moving forward, baby steps. That's it. Okay. Thank you. That, that, yeah, it's, it's really um, just identifying what, because there can be many areas, like you said before, it can be work, it can be health, it can be a relationship. It can be just, just yourself. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, you believe that you have bad self-esteem. What can you do? What is the impacting your self-esteem that you are having a hard time getting that job or you are having a hard time communicating with your husband or you're having a hard time just really even figuring out um, what you want. So like um, my Monica is saying, is simply um, understanding what belief is hurting you. Like there is a belief like when I was younger, I remember that um, when I was younger, I thought that being black was an ugly thing. I thought that being black was a bad thing. I thought that being black was uh, mean that you're dumb. Um, however, after I changed my mindset, <laughs> I am black and I'm beautiful. I'm black and I'm amazing. I am black and I'm so freaking smart, okay? Like, what? But it all had to do with change because the way that I'm talking to you right now, it wasn't when I was, I was even modeling right. and everybody thought, oh my God, she's beautiful and she's so confident. There was nothing because every, the old side I changed, but my mind, I didn't change, right? So mm -hmm. I can definitely see what you're talking about here because it happened to me. I didn't like I didn't like myself. I didn't like my color. So, I'm just like, oh, baby, you want to have this color? You want some of this? Hmm? You want some of this? <laughs> Wonderful. So uh, it's very important for any change to happen, for any change to initiate from yourself, within uh, yourself. Your current level should hurt you. Your current uh, level should dissatisfy you. <laughs> You are not happy with where you ever, wherever you are right now. Oh, I'm not happy. Maybe you start comparing yourself with others or maybe others people, opinions. Uh, you are being, you know, again, reflecting on yourself. What is this? What is lacking in me? What is it that, you know, I'm not so confident? Why is everybody saying you're not so confident? What is it that I have to change? Why is it not working for me every time? 
why do i re- get rejected each time i apply for a job interview what is in me then when you start asking questions yeah then when when you start really hitting on that thing one thing i'm not saying everything one thing why is it that why is it then the awareness preludes change first awareness needs to come so awareness will always come when you have a dissatisfaction level within yourself right now if you are saying everything is okay perfect nobody even god cannot change you but the moment you are start uh, creating that uh, level of you know not being satisfied within yourself something is not right and still if you don't take action and the last point reaches i've had enough from people i've had enough yes what do you need to do i need to create my boundaries how do i need to create these are the steps watch people watch other people's stories bring in small small change each opportunity each situation taking taking as opportunity now in this opportunity the is an opportunity where I, i i know i can create those boundaries how do i create those healthy boundary this is the way now people will start observing those change little changes in me so any time you start building those change changes within yourself the external environment will reflect on you things will try to resist you you will be tested once again let's say on healthy i am let's say talk again on the health if you are start to make certain uh, you know lifestyle changes you will be tested you will be invited to the parties or the or the situations or the meetings where you will be served all junk food <laughs> <laughs> or the or, or the food containing so much fat or chocolates so what would you do this, this is how you test your will power i know i know i know you look good but you want to look awesome Well, if you're in San Antonio, Texas and you're ready to look awesome, all you have to do is contact Sedat at 210-214-7214. Sedat, 210-214-7214. A professional hairstylist in San Antonio, Texas with a European touch. Call Sedat today. Yeah. if you are changing if you are trying to be more you know integrated uh, you have your character will be tested all the time all the time it will happen all the time so yeah, you absolutely. pass level 1 you pass level 1 it's like on the video games you you we all play video games we have all played video games in the childhood so you pass level 1 and then you you know there's a complete new level has been open to you you get some reward change is exactly like that you keep on bringing that change in yourself and you pass those test successfully there's a new level inside you which will be open to you the next level you can clear very you know very quickly so life exactly is like that all levels will be like that every level will have a new test you have to pass those test for clearing those test you have to imbibe new skills this is all i've heard uh, i've learned uh, sandra in all those years where i struggled where i you know uh, again fell down got up again fell down people broke love to broke my uh, you know trust again and again people love broke my break my boundaries again and again but that's how i learned and that's all you know saying, you kept mentioning boundaries yes i love that you repeated that i don't know maybe three four times i've been counting <laughs> <laughs> and that is something that i noticed that when people are trying to change they have a hard time changing because they are so excited and they make the action they do everything right and there come that person and they said you're not going to make it or you can't yeah. do this or you can pass this or whatever and then they have not set that boundary on that person what they allow that person to to uh, do or how they allow that person to affect them for example if you are listening right now example your friends you always want to change you always want to improve you always want because it's a human thing we always want yes. to do something better however we have ch- friends that are frenemies and those people are only going to want to hurt you they sound yes. like they they want to help you but they don't want to help you and when you don't have those boundaries right then those people affect your change is that correct monica absolutely correct absolutely and i you know tell these uh, uh, this thing which i'm going to share in repeat it in my programs in my post 
but ultimately by the end of the day it is your responsibility to not allow their uh, vibrations or their energies to affect you mm-hmm. 101% it is your responsibility by the end of the day no matter they are bad no matter despite they are you know not uh, good to you despite having their bad energies ultimately it is your choice ultimately it is your responsibility by the end of the day to pull you up again yeah. and make a change within uh, yourself the next time i am not going to meet them or i am going to meet them very occasionally if they are family or friends which cannot be avoided i am going to meet them occasionally not allowing yourself to get affected or disturbed by their uh, energy or vibrations that is what you know you got to learn again and again so change is always a learning process oh this thing is not happening maybe i should try this method maybe i should try this method but i should be uh, going gradually on that path gradually 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 and you know one uh, thing uh, <clears throat> sandra when we are towards the change management and we are trying to bring in change we have a uh, brain which is so called uh, the you know our uh, main uh, organ of our body but actually our brain uh, has a habit of bringing everything on status quo so whenever you're trying to change yourself or your habits brain has an ability to sabotage your habits it will bring your old habits again by giving you excuses so you will every time you'll having uh, you'll you know try to hear those excuses from your brain oh come on it's just one day you can eat oh come on and it's it's a sunday or it's, it's just one day you can skip your you know regime like that so you will be hearing such kind of thoughts again and again you have to notice you don't have to listen to those thoughts which brain is trying to sabotage because it is not going to allow that new new paradigm or new habit to float but you every time you have to ignore those thoughts ignore those sabotaging thoughts so that you can continue with your <laughs> new habits or new uh, you know disciplines in your life that's how you will be able to manage change uh, successfully yeah i like what you said because my team for this year is no excuses so you just pulled it and pulled it and pulled yes. it and you brought it back to my topic for this year no excuses because if you actually want change yeah excuses are the killer of change because we can come up with anything exactly oh like my reason last year right exactly. one of the big things for me was i was in so much pain i visited so many doctors but every time i try to push to do something it was my pain don't let me i have a headache my my spine don't let me my knee don't let me you know what i still have the same pain and i'm better than i was last year i have the same pain in my knee the same pain in my back the same pain in my head but no more excuses yeah. and that's well, the right. why this year i decided to come up and let all you guys know that whatever you do no excuses because whatever sometimes some things are not going to change but your mm. excuses going to change your attitude and that's how the change is going to happen so wonderful right now i i have the same pain that i was having last year but my, <laughs> brain, my attitude is different than it was yeah. i don't depend on the doctors i don't depend yeah. on people my responsibility Number one, wow. you said beautiful responsibility. It's my responsibility who I feel, not the doctors, not you, not my husband, not my kids. It is my responsibility. My responsibility. I can be caught up in pieces beautiful. and in so much pain. And my responsibility is my attitude of how I'm gonna treat you. I'm not gonna treat you like crap just because I'm feeling like crap. No, that is a mess. So if you are thinking that you can treat people the way you want to. um just because life has been hard to you believe me life is going to kick you you know what even worse because of your attitude so let's stop making excuses and let's welcome change in our life and the best way to do it is by managing change and transformation that's the beautiful topic of today managing change and transformation with my best friend coach monica and you know i said my best friend right i met this woman 
Um, I have interviewed her. I think this is maybe the fourth time or the third time. Yeah. I'm not sure. Fourth time, yeah. Fourth time, yeah. Yeah. And um, I fell in love with her. Um, because Thank you. Uh, Me too. Yeah, that is a strong woman. And um, she is really amazing. I have never met her in person, but I already feel like I have met her in person. So um, if you want to understand change, believe me, this woman have been through some struggles. This woman know how to stand up when life kick her butt. This woman knows how to keep pushing and not sit down waiting for someone to open doors for her and someone to say, Monica, let me rescue you. She's going through her own struggles, just like you are. And guess what? She is still an advocate of change, an advocate of improvement, an advocate of fighting and getting better. And that's the reason why she's sharing it. She's not sharing it because she read it in a book. She's sharing it because she knows what she's talking about. So if you want to learn how to manage change and transform your life for better, because that's the whole point. It's about getting better then keep listening to this conversation and you're definitely going to learn something. And if you want more, visit www.coachmonica with a K and with an S at the end, dot I N. And I'm going to shut up because, you know, I can talk forever and I'm going to allow Monica to continue talking. Yeah, thank you so much, Sandra. Uh, anybody who wish to know more about change and how to uh, start, actually people uh, get struggle, uh, how to start. They, if they are aware that yes, something needs to be corrected in my life, but uh, the sudden the response, first response they give is the fear. Oh my God, the work is too much. I can't do it. I'm not supposed to do it. Nobody has done that in my family. How am I supposed to do that? So the let uh, I'll advise not to let that kick uh, fear kick in you because uh, you're watching the entire you know staircase at uh, in the entire time. Don't have to watch the entire stage staircase right now. Just see the step. Take the one step. Let that uh, step create a foundation for you. Go to the next step and next step and the next step. That's how the journey will proceed. And after one or two years, you will see a totally evolved person. You will uh, believe me from my experience, uh, you know, when uh, an opportunity to write a blog came to me and... Uh, when I told that person, I can't write. I have never written in my life except those long emails to my colleagues, team members for not doing those works. Mm-hmm. I have never written, but uh, the other person kept it, you know, insisting, why don't please write a blog? So when I started writing a blog, I, I didn't know that I would touch so many people through my writing because it was so simple in writing, the way I speak, the way I write, it was so simple that people started actually resonating with more and that's how I caught up uh, with the writing thing and that uh, it's kind of reinventing myself. So whenever you're trying to bring in change, a lot of things in within you, which you will be uh, surprised by yourself. Even you will not be able to know, my God, I was hiding so much potential within me. Because when you're trying to change the, your external, your focus will shift from external to internal. All those small, small conflicts, all, all those small, small things in your life will, no, will not matter anymore because every time you are, uh, you, are, you are trying to improve your response, you're trying to improve everything that you are about to do or you will be doing or you are maintaining your discipline or you're you know, trying to improve your habits. It's a long journey. It's a mess. Believe me, it's, change is very painful. If you're saying it's a very soft thing, no. It's a very painful thing. Uh, you will be crying a lot. You will be, you know, <coughs> giving up every time. No, I can't do that. But believe me, by the end of the tunnel, it's beautiful. It will reflect in your personality. It will uh, reflect the way you talk. It will reflect the people see you. It will reflect how you respect yourself. It will reflect how people respect and society reflect. And the most important thing that you will start contributing the way you are supposed to. The, uh, the person you are destined to become, you will start becoming that person, very really closer to that, and you will be very proud of yourself one day. And for any more further information, you can log into my uh, website, www.coachmonica, with A, monica.in, and you can uh, email me at monicasacademy at gmail.com for any further inqu- queries or any questions you have, how to bring in change or transformations in your life. 
I look forward to your response and thank you once again, Sandra, for a lovely chat. And I look forward to talking to you once again. She's a lovely woman. I love her. And God bless her with all the peace, with all the success in her life. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Monica. As always, thank you for sharing that with us. And hey, guys, <clears throat> um, remember, no excuses. Um, one of the things that I am focused on um, this year, I don't care about how many followers I get. I care about that one person that we can change your life that um, because she can't change somebody's life. I can't change anybody's life, but we can encourage them and give them the information that they need, people like you, so that you can make those changes in your life. And that's what she said. The first one is you got to take responsibility. You have to make yourself responsible for your life. Stop blaming your past. Stop blaming people. Stop blaming everybody else. Things them happen. People come in your life and they leave your life. Okay, but it doesn't mean that it's the your end of your life. It is the beginning of a new journey, and that is called change. That is called um, change, and sometimes change come to us, and we felt so overwhelmed because of the change. But that's when it come in about managing the change in your life. So if you want to help, support managing the change in your life, then contact my coach, Monica. Again, that's triple Thank you. W dot Thank you so much. Monica's dot I N. And I am Sandra Graves, info at invivoassociate.com. If you're an expert in a particular area and you would like to talk to me, I want to talk to you. Well, if you can tolerate this noisy woman, then um, you can contact me at info at invivoassociate.com. I'm also <laughs> on Instagram. And on Instagram, like in vivo life, and you can also find um, Monica on Instagram as well. Monica, what is your Instagram? What is your Instagram address? Yeah, my Instagram handle is Monica underscore Success Academy. You can always uh, uh, log in and uh, follow my post, Monica underscore Success Academy. And one point, I'll make it. Uh, you know, I forgot to include that uh, which i recently shared in one of my groups uh, for the change itself when uh, you you know very down and you about to you know just I, I i can't do this so there's one you know quote it is written written in my shelf that is faith it till you make it faith it you you need to have that faith yes faith it till you make it so till you make that progress up to the last point you need to have that faith in yourself. Yes, I'm going to make it. Yeah. So remember, no excuses. I'm going to make it. Anyway, thank you guys. Mwah! Besos, besos a todos. Kisses to you, my Monica. God bless you all. Thank you. <laughs>